y'all welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how I make our chicken and wild rice soup so for starters you're going to need some of the Uncle Ben's chicken and wild rice you're also going to need a can of cream of chicken and last but not least you're actually going to need some chicken breasts I use boneless skinless chicken breasts and there are four and to season those chicken breasts I use onion powder Tony's Creole seasoning some chili powder and also garlic powder Now I'm just going to lay each of those chicken breasts out and evenly coat both sides of the chicken with all four of the seasonings. And now to our pot, we are going to add in some extra virgin olive oil. And you want to make sure that your pot is going to be big enough for your chicken. And also, this is what the soup's going to be cooked in. So I like to use my Dutch oven. This one's from Belk, but you can also find one that is very similar from Walmart by the Pioneer Woman. Now once your chicken has cooked on one side, you're going to flip them over so you get a nice brown color on both sides of your chicken. And now that our chicken has completely cooked, we're just going to take it and put it on the cutting board. I have washed it while the chicken was cooking, so you don't want to put it on a nasty cutting board. And just to make sure that the chicken is completely cooked through, I like to take the thickest part of the chicken and cut it open just to check. Now to the pan, we're going to add the box of rice. You do not want to clean your pan. You want all those good seasoned juices from the chicken to stay at the bottom. You're also going to add in the seasoning packet that comes along with the chicken and wild rice. And after that, you're going to add in your cream of chicken. Now for water, I like to just put water in this actual can. It will actually, you know, get all the cream of chicken off the sides of the can. Now, the amount of water is completely up to you. If you like your soup more watery, you're definitely going to want to add more water. I tend to add between three or four cans of water. And then I just give it a good stir just to make sure everything is combined. And while that's sitting there, I'm going to go over and cut up all my chicken. You just want this in bite-sized pieces. Now we're just going to combine the chicken into the soup mixture. Now you're just going to want to give it a good stirring and we're going to put the lid on. You're going to also want to lower the temperature down to low because you definitely want this to cook low and slow. The longer it cooks, the better it'll be. Once the consistency of the soup has gotten a lot creamier than before, it's all ready to go. This normally takes about 20 minutes, but like I said, the longer it sits, the better it'll be. So now we're just going to put each serving into our really cute turquoise bowls. We really like cheese at this house, so I'm just going to put on some Parmesan and mozzarella blend on top of each. If you get the chance to make this super yummy chicken and wild rice soup, definitely take a picture of it and tag me in it on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to see your interpretation of this soup. We absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. So I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching.